mission to kicks, the money don't miss, I'm all on my eye. My name is Dario Russo. I'm a producer and engineer. I do mostly pop, trap, hip hop music. I'm from Switzerland. I got started when I was about 17 years old, I would say, trying to record my first band, which was really, really difficult. And it's kind of like what got me into producing, mixing and mastering on my own. It's always tough to start out on your own, but um, I picked up some skills and uh, eventually I got a little better. And seven years later, kind of, yeah, here I am. So to me, the whole PSI audio thing is, is kind of a long story, but I'm going to try to make it short. I essentially grew up as a producer and songwriter engineer around that sound because I was taught audio engineering basics by my mentor. And in his studio, like he has these huge A25M. And yeah, after that, I was just like, you know, trying out different things, trying out different monitors. To me, it was all about the gear, but the monitors were kind of a secondary thing. And no, that's not how it works at all. <laughs> I had to learn that the hard way. But the thing is, uh, once I got this pair of uh, A23s, it was kind of like a revelation in a way. Like, everything is just so clear. The stereo image is absolutely phenomenally clear, like you can just hear everything. And uh, the vocals just speak directly to you. You can really delve like super deep in the vocal production side of things really quickly. And you also notice, even in music that you listen to and you're usually happy with, because these are your references, like your reference tracks or whatever, what you listen to to test a different system, uh, you can really easily detect what doesn't work in the vocal production, even on tracks that you really love, which is both a good and a bad thing because it kind of, you know, breaks the dream down in a way. But at the same time, it just speaks the truth. And when you produce, you get to really understand what's going on. And it's really important to know where you're at at every single step uh, of the creative process, I think. I'm currently working on a track that I produced with my good friend Jason Chu from Los Angeles. He's a rapper and a motivational speaker from the US and uh, we started working together this year. Initially, we, we met at a party in Los Angeles as well. It was uh, at Russell Simmons' uh, villa uh, in the hills. And yeah, that was fun, that was fun. And we just connected, we had a chat, and after you know a couple beers and stuff, we just reconnected and uh, yeah, here we are. The mission, the kicks, the money don't miss. I'm all on my eye, I'm all on my eye. The vision is lit, the money is crisp. I'm all on my eye, I'm all on my eye. The mission, the kicks, the money don't miss. I'm all on my eye, I'm all on my eye. Typically for this song that I'm doing right now, I started the mix on my headphones in my bedroom at 2 a.m. about a week ago. And yeah, we're still kind of working on it. But the thing is, essentially, so in my headphones, it sounded pretty good. I already had like kind of a mastering chain set up. Everything sounded okay. But at the same time, I wasn't completely sure. So I still referenced the track over here at the studio. And as soon as I hit play, on the A23s, yeah, like everything came, became clear again. And I was able to tell right away that the vocals were muddy and the whole balance was just not there. My mastering chain at home didn't work at all and I chose to redo it and now I know exactly where I am. And when I compare it to other references on the market, I'm loud, I'm proud and I'm clear. And that's what matters more, I think, because even like if it's on headphones or other references, it can sound really good. But I think this pair of monitors really just opens up the whole like mystery to me. And it just like sounds the way it is without really lying to you, especially on vocals again, because I was pretty proud of my vocal mix at home. And when I had to play over here, I was kind of ashamed in a way. But yeah, whatever. I mean, now it's good. 
So yeah, I studied at Berklee College of Music for a couple years. I did my bachelor's degree with them. I attended the ceremony at the end, that was fun. So essentially I had the studio going at the same time, so I did the online module. And through that, I met a couple of people in the US and that you know, got me into traveling more. I had the occasion of working a couple of times in uh, Westlake Studios. For example, I had the occasion of visiting other, other places in the U.S., and that was really fun. And one thing that really struck me, well, the sound pressure level that you can get in those rooms in a controlled environment. And at the same time, just like the quality of the speakers, some of the speakers are like custom built for the room in a way. I just remembered that impact. And on the A23s, I get the same kind of feeling. It just reminds me of L.A., which kind of feels like home to me now. And that's probably why I'm, you know, drawn to these monitors as well. It just reminds me of good times.